Hello, welcome back to the farm. Today, we're going to plant some onions in the field. We had a previous video of us actually planting them in the flats. Today, we're gonna to put them down. This is what they look like after they came out of the germination chamber and given a couple weeks. As you can see, we had a pretty high germination rate. I'm guessing, you know, high 90s at a minimum. And they look pretty good. I've run a string down the side or down the center and at the other end down there I'll walk down there in a minute you'll see the dibble wheel so I created a really straight row with having string from one end to the other I ran the dibble wheel down through the center what the dibble wheel does it punches holes in the soil not that you can plant because they're so deep it's because they mark the hole I'll show you there's a hole every four inches on both sides of my string, which is exactly how I plant the onion. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I take a highly technical tool, it's a piece of rebar, stick it in the hole that the, the dibble wheel made and wobble it around. Then I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna go over here and grab an onion out of my flat. And I'm gonna set that onion in the hole. And then I'm gonna cover it up. And then I'm gonna rinse and repeat, in this case about Huh, 250 times. There's a couple things you want to think about before you put your, your onions out in the field. First thing is weather. You want to get them out as soon as you can, but you need to make sure that your soil is relatively workable. I have put them in a very, very wet soil, but normally I do what I did this time. I have run the uh, wheel hoe through here a couple times, dried up the raised beds. We raise everything on raised beds and then waited a day and did it again and got it relatively dry. Now underneath the first inch or so, it's pretty wet, but nonetheless, that'll help. But this is about a 60 degree day, give or take, and we're expecting rain within 24 hours. This should be the perfect transplanting environment. Very important, keep that in mind. Onions are heavy feeders, and what you put on as far as fertilizer and herbicide is entirely up to you. But just ensure that they have enough nutrients and plenty of water, especially as it gets hot during the summer. Growing your onions from seed is not only easy, it's cost effective. It sure is a whole lot cheaper to buy seed than it is to buy plants. If you've never had homegrown onions, you've purchased your onions through grocery stores or wherever, you're in for a treat. As you can see, planting onions is pretty easy. I hope you learned something. Until next time, see you down at the barn. <laughs>